Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nice. Okay. <laughs> you like sped up slightly then, it was wonderful. You have to sing to Scout? Uh Welcome MJ trips. to nice. MJ Trips with Scowl and Scowl, Scowl, Scowl and MJ tripping. <laughs> Maybe with Chalk again, but probably not. No, but we could oh. call him. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Okay, nice. Thank you. That, that's the that's the most I've sung in about 21 years, so well done. Cheers. Ah, and I, I caught it on camera. <laughs> yep. Look at me. That's to fucking delete right. it now, basically. But yeah. Um, but yeah. Welcome to MJ okay. Trips with Scout, um, number three. Yes, I will, I will do, I will take, I will take responsibility as a host and do a little bit of a proper intro. Hello. Perfect. Welcome to MJ Trips with Scalibur. Um, we're going to talk about um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, right? Because okay. uh, last time me and Scalibur did a podcast when uh, WandaVision ended, the Marvel show by Disney+. Plus. going to be spoilers in the episode. I'm kind of excited to talk about it with you because we haven't talked about it at all. And I feel, I feel oh. like I did that deliberately because, yeah. like, you know, get on the podcast. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, it ended... It ended yesterday, right? I, w I rewatched it today. Yeah. Um, I'm yet to rewatch it, but I, I will probably watch good. all of it at some point. Um, when, 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 when yeah, finished, same for One Vision, right? Yeah, when, when One Vision finished, I just I went back and watched the entire show multiple times over. Um, get loads more out of it. It's really good. But yeah. Uh, for One of Vision, um, I just don't. I, I I did the same, but I didn't uh, rewatch the first three episodes because it's so like. When yeah. you get it, it's True. like okay, all right. But it is yeah. it, the first three episodes of One Vision are actually kind of like a. A monument to filmmaking right because yeah. they use the old techniques and whatever so yeah of course it, it, i think it's a very different vibe with the first couple episodes oh. uh entirely it was just like um it, but yeah like you said they don't have much rewatchability unfortunately because of the big twist but they were still good to be fair um but yeah so today we're talking about fucking the winter soldier which is cool um yeah, yeah. And you, you also want to talk about your trip i'd like you to invite uh, yeah i'd like to invite you to do that as well yeah you do that I think I'm, I'm fine with that because I remember in, in the first video, in, in the first podcast, we actually, um, you, you said, do you want to talk about any of your stuff? Uh, at which point I was like, mm, no, <laughs> because I don't know if that's a good idea. But now I'm just like, yeah, I, I, I think it's fine. Like, I don't think there's going to be any issue with that. I'm actually, I'm actually debating um, starting a second channel or a third channel, I guess, um, called Ooh. like, yeah, literally for that. Um, because I realized today. For podcasts. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but you know, for things like that, it, it, for me, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be scowl trips. It would be scowl post trip. Because, it, yeah, that would nice. be very difficult to do that. I, I would not want to watch myself back under those circumstances, to be honest with you. Um, but I think that's I think that's when it's <laughs> is the, the clarity afterwards. Um, but yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. You could also do you could also do do maybe a podcast and call it like Post Nut Scow or whatever. <laughs> you know, where you just like a little bit of a wang. That's and then amazing. You, have a, you record a podcast. That's what. Do you know what? <laughs> that that you might be what I actually it. call it. <laughs> just, just to like just to like make it a, a code. Scowl. Yeah, because if I call it Post Trip so Scow and it's like, hang on. You live in the UK, where it is illegal to consume drugs and stuff. So yeah, post nut scout. There we go. Done. That'd be quite funny. Actually. But I said post nut when you, I suppose nut like when you have a when you nut. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You oh, you got it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You can do post trip as well, because then and then you you just have to play around. Like, no, I don't do drugs. Yeah, yeah. Come but on. If I, but if I had, you know. <laughs> But yeah. I feel so confident because I, I put my location of my videos uh, mm. when I upload them to YouTube in the Netherlands, right? Yeah. But yeah. Uh, uh, talk, talk about your stuff. Talk about your videos because I didn't yeah. know about your trip. Oh, you okay. had you I did have a trip though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, for sure. Um, All right. So, okay. so yeah. So I'm I'm yeah, I'm not talking about. It. So basically, um, there was a point last week. This is this is the the bad thing about it, right? Because I've kind of I want to get kind of deep today, actually, because I I, I realized that. Um, in the last couple nice. of weeks, I like your energy. You got good energy. It's good. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, I, I realized in the last couple of weeks that I have been um, a lot more down than I really than I like realized. Like I, I've kind of been having that realization over the last few weeks. Um, how, how do you realize by talking to people, maybe? By well, by experiencing the opposite. To be honest with you. Um, so the, the, the oh right, yeah, I got you. The, the position that I was in last week was, um, you know, I was at uni as always. A um, few things gone wrong recently. Nothing that is that major, but just enough to just make me feel just a little bit glum. Um, and I, I just felt like going to visit my friend in, in Manchester, where I'm from. Um, and he has like a flat there, and it's really nice. And he's a long time friend, and I love him to bits. And I went to go see him because I just knew that he would be able to cheer me up and take my mind off it, to be honest. He's always said to me, he's always said, you know, if you ever need a place to stay, if you ever need to get away from family or friends or just go somewhere and do something, you can always yeah, message yeah, me. And nice. I've, I've always been the same with him. And it's nice to have someone like that. 
Um, so it feels I, like a little bit of ho- holiday, maybe. Yeah, like with a friend. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, such a holiday. Yeah, um, I barely ever see him, unfortunately. But obviously, we do, and we're good mates, and it, it's nice. Um, so I literally, I went to Manchester um, on was it Wednesday? It was Wednesday, yes. Um, Oh, no, it wasn't. It was Tuesday. I went on my on Tuesday. What day is today? I don't even know what day is it today. Oh, it's, it's Saturday. It's fucking Saturday already. Though? Yeah, it doesn't feel like Where it was that long ago. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't. So it was Wednesday. Fuck. Anyway, I think it was did Wednesday. Did we talk? We did, yeah. I think it was Wednesday. It was Thursday okay. morning that I talked to you, I think. Um, was it when you sent me the video? Oh, that's, yeah. yeah, that was Thursday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, basi- right. so basically, sure. um, what happened was we went out for just a couple of beers in Manchester. Um, and... We went back to his place at about eleven o'clock because, of course, it's, co- it's COVID right now. So, of course, and we, we just... started making out, <laughs> and it got a little saucy. No, um, so we, we went, back, we, saucy, we went yeah. back to his place, and and because he always has loads of stuff in, just like beers, whiskeys, like long drinks, like everything in at home anyway. So we just thought, well, we'll just go back to mm-hmm. your place and just chill at your place for a bit before I either get the train or stay over, depending on how drunk I am, basically. So we went back to his, and we weren't even that pissed. I'd had three beers while we were out. Um, this is fucking savoring a, a beer from a tap it makes such a fucking difference, man. It's crazy. Um, Three beers can can get me like a, you know pretty. I'll get pretty like you know. I'll have a good time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's kind of, beer, I was beers. feeling better. Feeling a lot better. Um, so we go back to his place and we just kind of like we were there and and of course basically he had the stuff there already um, because he just had some in from like you know extra from like a previous from a previous time um, and he literally just said like you know I do have this in if you want. And I thought, to oh, myself, and it's so it was super impulsive. It was very impulsive. Yeah, I did like literally twenty four hours earlier. I thought I would never do it again for the rest of my so life. So did did you instantly like do like the math? Like, hey, when's the last time I did? This? Do you want to? You should probably just say the name of what you did on the podcast if you want. Yeah, I mean, I can refer to it. Yeah, as, as what it is, is Molly. Because it's, it's used in study. It's, yeah, it's uh, well, it's, it's different. Molly and Emily. Uh, well, different. well, technically, Molly is 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 actually an entirely different drug. If you're being really technical, but um molly oh, mdma right. um is you know whatever you want to call it um and i actually i, I spoke in my discord server while i was high actually so if pe- people are here from my discord which they probably are then you co- probably already saw this uh, some part of this while i was while i was there um and basically what it does is it basically <laughs> it floods your brain with chemicals that make you feel extremely happy like just happy, yeah. happy, 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 happy. And you can't. Is it just else. dopamine? Do you know? Is it just dopamine? Dopamine, serotonin, and I believe there's serotonin. Like, there's yeah, one, there's one yeah. other one as well, but I can't remember for the life of me what the name of it is right now. But basically, what what happens is for the space of about four or five hours, you get that continuous, continuous rush of just happiness. Now, the the only way I can describe it to you because it it is unfortunately a feeling that you cannot relate to if you've not done it yourself. But um, if, if you think about think about how I feel like I relate. I feel like I relate because when I get like really high, plus mm. I'm doing something really fun. Mm. I, but but I, but but the difference is, I guess, that it doesn't matter what you do when you're on uh, on Molly. Like yeah. everything feels good. I yeah. guess. You, so you I could mean, also like stri- do you do you then strategic strategically plan out what you're gonna do? You know what I mean? Because no. you know, like, oh, it, I'll go if I go work out right now. I'll enjoy it the fuck out of it. Something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, mm, the, the, you have to be careful with some things, unfortunately, because um, there are obviously with, okay. with with everything there are some dangers to it, and you have to kind of keep them in mind, obviously. Uh, but the way that it, what happened with this one, obviously, is um, it was it was very spontaneous, and I thought to myself that the kind of rule yeah. the rule with it is if you do it any more often than every three months, then you will fuck your brain up very quickly. And that's just a very sure. commonly known rule. Because after I did this for the first time, I did a lot of research to try and find out the best possible way of, of doing it in the future if I ever did it again. Um, and basically, the, the, the kind of the rule is, if you can do it once every six months, that's like the optimal way to do it. But if you want yeah, to... Yeah, same you... with, uh, with truffles as well. I've never done truffles, but it's, I know truffles. it's the same thing. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's the same rule for them. I've never done it, but... Yeah. Um, and then if you if you really want to, though, you can do it every three months and you'll probably be good. But if you like the thing is, if you did it once and then you did it a month later, you should really take a break for like two years before you ever even consider doing it again, because you're just you're because it, that it has to rebuild or whatever. Yeah, because like anything, your brain builds a tolerance to it if you get it in too high of a quantity. Sure. So literally, yeah, you, you can, for me as well, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the same. It's exactly the same thing. But of course, this is a lot sure. more important because you're building a tolerance to the part of your brain that makes you feel happy. So of course, if you overdo it if you abuse it basically the risk is that you'll be giving yourself kind yeah. of like kind of like a manually induced depression which is terrifying to me personally yeah, I understand. So, yeah hence why I, understand. I was so keen to do it properly because i wanted to wait as long as possible and i was there the other day and um, i thought to myself okay it was november 2nd last year and this year it's now april 22nd so it's been like five months five and more months and i thought to myself because originally my so you're brain... going you're going from three to six months this yeah. is your area yeah exactly so that, that that's like the best way of doing it and i thought to myself this is the most convenient timing 
I have been really down recently, and I would like. And you got to kind of chase the buffalo as well, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I thought to myself, it's safe. Like I thought to myself, I've waited long enough. I haven't seeked it. It's just an opportunity has arisen, and that's it. Simple as. And obviously, we did it then, then and there. And oh my god, this time was 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 different. It was really really different, actually. Um, I literally just um, I sat there. Because uh, it takes about half an hour to 45 minutes for it to kick in properly. So I was sat there and it was starting to come on a little bit and a little bit. And then it all comes on all at once and it's ridiculous. And the difference was this time, my reaction to it was not just like a smile. It was kind of like, like just, just utter, just amazement. Just complete and utter amazement yeah, the, as to how the, I was feeling. The intensity, it, the intensity of it like almost kicked you over your feet. Or yeah, literally, yeah. But um, is it then, is it then right from the start? Is it happy, Happyville? Yeah. All the way through. I would I would actually say of of all the things that I have tried, and this includes drinking and smoking, it is the absolute easiest thing to do. You cannot go wrong with it in terms of just taking it and just enjoying it. It's yeah, the that's easiest wow, thing that's to weird. Do. Huh? That's weird because yeah. because maybe it, maybe because it specifically targets a sous area, so like mm. you, you'll probably enjoy a heart attack, right? Like even an anxiety attack, you'll probably be like, "Wow, this is such a thrill!" And I'm not you saying would. you would enjoy it, but I'm just saying yeah, it's ridiculous. You would, yeah, you know, you know, I well, said, do, do you plan certain activities or anything like that? Like, like you'd think to yourself, like, "Oh, I'm going to get like my old DS and play well, Mario that's what Kart I, that's, that's and, what I and enjoy it." Like that. I, yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. No, <laughs> you literally you just. Well, I guess, just I guess you couldn't if you. And you just feel incredible, and it's ridiculous. Like the 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 best thing, the most thing that you want to do, the most you want to do but, is just listen I to would, music. I would argue that it's. Yeah, man, I understand that. Mm. At the same th same with the uh, mushrooms, right? Because I really want to try mushrooms at some point. Because mm. uh, just from the romanticized stories I've heard, right? But mm. I believe people when they tell me the stories about mushrooms, right? Yeah. And I'd like to just fucking sit in the dark room and listen to music. Because I'm pretty sure, bro, I got such an active mind already. I'm pretty sure I could just like spawn visuals. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I'm so sure of that. I'm so sure like my own imagination is going to be able to That'd fucking be amazing. do that. I'd love to try that. Um yeah, fun, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, what happened, obviously, it takes about four or five hours for this thing to happen. And the unfortunate side effect of it is obviously that when you do start to come down, um, you will have this moment of like where your brain starts to clear, quite literally starts to clear of all the stuff that's making you feel amazing. And then, of course, sure, sure, sure. you have this, like, it, it's not slow. It's not like a gradual thing. You just have an instant moment where you're like, okay, it's gone. And now I'm speaking at the right speed. I can move my arms at the right speed. Like, you, you notice immediately as it's gone. And all of, course, of this is sped up your arms and the speaking while you're, while you're molly. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, the wow. idea that when you're enjoying yourself, time seems to pass quicker. It's literally that. It's like it's the epiphany. It's so the epiphany. you just kind of have this realization of, oh wait, I'm back. I'm back in normal yep. mode. Yeah, you're like, oh well. shit. <laughs> um, and and of course, then, does it then instantly depress you because you know, ah man, the good times are in the past. Or no, something like that? no, honestly, no. Um, well, this thing, I'll explain last time and this time as well. So, 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 so this time, what happened was, um, this time was much better for that. Really, this time I, I came down from it, and of course, the instant temptation then is to just say, I'll just take more, and it will be great. But of course, you have to kind of know, nah, nah, nah. yeah, you have to know yourself. You know it. You if have you to take more. Already, right? One thing, it's not going to work, and two, you're going to be fucking yourself permanently. So you have no choice but to just go like, oh, that's it, done. Um, and of course, at that point, and maybe that's easier to quit because you, cause when you when you do it, you already kind of like your your intent is already to just do it yeah. now and then yeah. not do it again for four or five months, right? Yeah, you've accepted. So that's the a good nature of it already. So. Yeah, but it's so disciplined because uh, you told me that a friend of yours is uh, did did it more you know multiple times and he didn't get as happy as you do. Yeah. Like he just didn't have a desired effect. Yeah, he. I, I said before, like I think best case scenario, people say if you really, 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 really want to do it, then you wait like one month one month and then you take a break for fucking ages just to be safe and he, why would you really 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 want to do it isn't that like a problem in itself if you, it's if you want to do it that bad <laughs> now i mean i, I understand yeah. and i listen I, I i guess i probably relate with weed because yeah I, I like doing like you know fucking ever romanticize if i if i don't do weed for like half a day because this morning i didn't do it because i had to do some horse riding or whatever do mm. some responsible shit and i didn't do it and then I, I was like driving riding home and i was like fuck yeah bro i'm gonna smoke weed today mm -hmm. so i still i still have that yeah, yeah but, um, it's a similar feeling unfortunately i mean it, it's honestly i don't even think of it as much of a bad thing though because all it is is just willpower because say if you have a box of chocolates and you eat one that's chocolate, what I'm saying, you want right? to eat that's two chocolates saying, yeah so just at some point you just stop eating chocolate it's the same it's the same thing you just you just tell yourself no eventually it is the same with cigarettes right? yeah it's exactly like, the same thing yeah i kind of feel like i kind of feel like uh, like i was convinced for a while that Cool trigger was the only way to go, and it ended up working for me because mm -hmm. I quit again. By the way, I started smoking again, but I quit again. Nice. That's, that's <laughs> just how it goes. I didn't even I didn't even get myself hypnotized. It's super weird. Hmm. It's kind of like, fuck it, whatever. Mm -hmm. well, but, you don't um, want to do it once. I, I guess was... it makes it a bit easier. But yeah. 
Yeah, I've done it twice now. I've done, mm. done the hypnosis twice. But I'm, I've, I've done it twice, but it's such an intense moment, like getting hypnotized, right? Because you're so relaxed mm. that it's so, you're so focused on all the words. I kind of memorize it. And sometimes I can like kind of replay it back to me, you know what I mean? Play it back to myself. And I don't know if that's just me telling, telling myself that it's working, but uh, whatever, yeah. I, I, I just quit again. Yeah. I don't know what I was going to say about nicotine, though. We were talking about addictive substances, but um, yes. I don't remember. Yeah. So that, that's kind of my, my mindset with it as well, is that last time, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, last time with it, I had... Um, oh, yeah, I had that moment of like, um, you know, I've, I've just done it. Now I've come down again. And oh my God, life is so crap. What's what's wrong with me? Like, like this is how things usually are. And it's so bad. Yeah, but you but, know, um, you know, that's but it's because of the drug, right? And you yeah. can kind of like. Precisely. Yeah, probably, you, can, yeah. you can make that distinction that it's fine. Um, so what happened last time when I came down was the night after it finished, you do still feel quite good immediately afterwards. Like there is an instant change, but then you do still feel quite good for at least 12 hours afterwards, I would say. So, and do you ride, do you ride the mental wave, like the memories yes. that you made and stuff? Yes. Like do you still like chuckle yes. for days? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. Like, I was literally, I was still in the- momentum then. <laughs> yeah. I, I was still in the shower this right. morning, right? And I literally just stood there and I just, I just smiled. Like I just smiled to myself and I was like, that was, like amazing silly like yeah literally sure. just, just feeling happy in general and and, and so, so last time i did this um in november uh when, when i came down i basically just had like a day or two where i was fine and then i had a third day where i was feeling really blue and, and i was genuinely really down and then a fourth day where i was like i might as well have just been sinking into the floor in every room that i was in and in that moment i had to think to myself, i know why this is this is because my brain has basically just experienced something that it's not supposed to experience and it's trying to counteract it now so i understand why it was doing that so i just you kind of just ride it out you just watch tv eat shit food do you think that's it, that's the, it. The, so you just like isn't it uh, isn't it the case that you like bur- kind of burnt out your uh, receptors yeah precisely and then th- that, that's why you're yeah sure yeah but it doesn't it doesn't Weird. last that long to be honest. The, the, the longest it would ever last for is um because you have like on days, off days and it fluctuates, but the longest you'd ever have symptoms for afterwards is probably about ten days. But after that you're absolutely fine again. And um you might as well just forgotten how it feels in the first place, to be honest. Um so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, hap- that happens to me a lot. That happens to me a lot when I'm when I meditate. Sometimes when I mm. when I don't meditate for a while, I'll like uh, dismiss it like fuck it i don't i get the principles i don't need it whatever but then yeah. when i meditate like f- for like 15 minutes i get to that like chill point where like mm. uh it, they call it inbox zero right where your your mind is just like okay we're cool we got it right i've gone through everything we're chill and then uh, you kind of realize wow this is really nice but then like half an hour later or maybe like a day later the next day i won't remember that it felt that good i'll still be like i'll, I'll be back to like fuck it i don't need to do that you know what i mean yeah because you can you kind of forget like mind states which is weird because mm-hmm. like that would be such a good thing to be conscious of right all the mindsets mm-hmm. you go through and try to like that's a yeah. weird one that you could just forget that yeah of course um but yeah so, so, so this time instead it was much better or has been so far at the very least uh, i basically just um i started coming down obviously on... wait so what when, when when did you do this did you do it today no right no no it was, it was on the it was the day i messaged you uh, uh oh, issue. yeah because i saw the video yeah. right yeah that day okay, okay technically okay. it was like Good. it was it was thursday at like midnight basically so um no sure but i, th- I thought you yeah. said that you did it like uh yesterday you went on a trip and i was like wait was it yesterday because that wasn't yesterday oh, i might go the day wrong too. <laughs> but yeah no, it, it doesn't matter but i was just yeah. making sure that you weren't doing it like twice in a row and like, you oh yeah all like hey look yeah, yeah don't, don't, don't worry about that <laughs> I'm um, doing, I'm, yeah i'm on doing molly it's such a good time yeah um but yeah that's, that's kind of just how it works basically and th- this time has been much better i it feels like this time because I was prepared for it and I like knew what was going to happen, I've dealt with it much, much better. Um, and I've been feeling a little bit down occasionally, but not nearly as bad as last time. Like, I, I feel... The thing is, the, diff- the ridiculous thing is, this is what I was talking about before, I think I was in such a bad place on Monday of this week that after taking that and now being on the, you know, the come down of it, the come down is actually not as bad as how I was feeling before, which is ridiculous why to think. Was it- was, so maybe you just maybe you were just in general just lacking happy experiences yeah, or whatever. You I know was. What I, mean? like I really, you really just was. needed the win or whatever. Yeah. And you just took it. Yeah. And now my, and my brain. Is, go. On. This is the thing, man. Like I don't want to be like a drug. Fuck. I don't really like. I'll say okay. Listen. I'll say shit about weed. My opinions, right? My yeah. theories and whatever. Because I know, I've I've experienced with that. But I will never make experience. Uh, no, I'll never like fucking scientifically back theories about other drugs. But it sounds like listen. If you just fucking responsibly take. Uh, Molly, or I, I, I know, I know this about MDMA, right? Mm. That it's like, um, it's used to treat PSD in patients, and yes. maybe that is because Molly, you explained this to me the other day when we called Thursday, whatever the fuck. I don't, need, I've, I've, I'm not even keeping track track of the of the days, yeah. so I, I don't even know why I'm talking shit. Mm. But um, you told me that uh, it kind of gives you a new perspective 
um, on things, right? A new reason to, to enjoy a thing or whatever. Yeah. So like, I guess that would make sense why it would work on PTSD patients, right? Like what if you have like a rape trauma and you do, you do uh, MDMA, whatever, you kind of like, you know, get this new like, okay, peaceful, positive perspective. And maybe you'll be able to carry that with you throughout your life. Yeah. So it's very powerful. So it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a definitely issue, you know, mm. that it's just like this label, like drugs and whatever. I know. It, it it does annoy me a little bit that some because because you opinions. you need to do it like right now you you it's experience that you ha- uh, that helps you a lot right yeah apparently yeah it's and you ridiculous. you do it responsibly I mean you really you even you even talk about it right on a fucking podcast right so you're doing it responsibly we talk about talk about this all the time by the way it's mm-hmm. not just like and uh, but anyways um mm-hmm. but the, the only sketchy part about it is that you can't do it at home right well yeah, you know what I'm trying to say yeah yeah no but but that's a cultural thing right like if you're you know maybe you with your kids different generation whatever I'm just mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. It would be nice if the if the, the the line is was a bit more blurry. Yeah. Sometimes, you know? The the ridiculous thing is, I I genuinely think that if I if I was able to take that while I was at home, I would I would literally fix my relationship with my parents in in a in a day. That's what I'm. It's, this, it's that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I feel the same way with weed. I was like, mom, if I could just drug you, like you know what I mean, like yeah. just give you some weed mm. brownies and just sit you down and tell you, yo, you're high. Maybe you'll go into a bit of a pen. Oh, I don't know if I should do that. I never know if that would work out because maybe she would just go have a complete panic attack. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, of course. Jump out, jump out the window, or whatever. Yeah, that's a horrible one. It's a frustrating <laughs> thought, unfortunately, because I feel that that runs that extends to a lot of things as well. I feel like there's a lot of, especially with, with weed is probably the biggest one actually for this because of course it, it's so close to being normalized and legalized in so many places. Like obviously you have Canada, California, obviously where you are, um, and there's so yeah. many places now that where it's becoming more normalized. Like there's a lot of people in this country who, who've told me like their parents don't care like they know they do it and they're just like yeah well it's not a big of a deal is it so it's fine and and, and that's that's nice to hear wow um, that's yeah very nice to hear. yeah it's really good to hear um and obviously i think i would be that way with my kids as well now it doesn't agree with me personally <laughs> i always seem to have a really bad time on it well the thing um, is the thing is it's this you and me as well and i would th- i would think my mom as well when she was younger but apparently she doesn't have this perspective but if you are a kid you're gonna do whatever you like if you turn a certain age right even if you're still interacting with your parents whatever you're gonna do whatever the fuck you want to do anyways right Right? They can have opinions, but at the end of the day, those opinions are just going to get in the way of what you're going to do inevitably, right? Yeah. It's very, so you better have like a, you know, but, but it's also kind of weird because if, if maybe your parents were raised like, um, you know, because the mindset was definitely different, mm. you know, when they were, because uh, you were, you know, a druggie, whatever, living under a bridge, if you were doing drugs, you know what I mean? And now it's much more like a cultural thing, like, yeah, exactly. You know, at a party and whatever. Yeah. Because of course that that is the thing now is that you know you you talk to someone who is less tolerant of this kind of things and you say, um, oh this person did so and so drug the other day and their brain immediately just jumps to that stereotypical visual of someone a homeless person sat on the street collecting money yeah, to try exactly. and just That's get the next saying, high yeah. and it's like but you have to understand like and those people exist by the way That's yeah, also real like I do, really like in a way. I mean, mm. let's not get, get into homelessness because it's a wild fucking story. Know, it's a wild fucking one. But, um, mm. you know, it's real. It, so it's 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 important to acknowledge that some people abuse drugs, right? Yeah. That's for course. sure. And then you, but, have, um, you have the same wavelength where you have alcoholics and you have chain smokers. And, and as far as I'm concerned, that is on the same level. I think you can abuse anything. Well, can we talk about how much uh, cigarettes influences what you do throughout your day to day? Bro. <laughs> like, bro, if I have an mm. activity... I would like when I'm smoking because I was smoking like I smoked two packs mm. uh, packages of, of Sheck, which was arguably a lot, but whatever. Um, but 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 I realized when, when I'm smoking, I don't I want to skip out on on certain stuff, right? Because mm. I know that I won't be able to smoke. Like I, I I'd rather like yeah. um, stay home or like fucking around this area where I know I can just smoke and nobody see nobody you know what I mean? Like, but I'm just saying it's so wild how much it actually influences yeah. what your trajectory looks like. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It's such a weird, it's super fucking weird. Yeah, I've I've got a friend who smokes um smokes a lot as well, unfortunately, and um he he's like he's fully aware that he has a problem, and we've all tried to talk to him about it a bit. Obviously, I've smoked in the past. I I went through a stage. I've been through stages of being oh, yeah. a social smoker and a smoker, and now I'm no longer smoking, which I'm very happy about. Um, and obviously yeah. he he is like he, he does smoke a lot. Doing better than and... me. <laughs> <laughs> now we got it both. We got it both. I'm back on track. It's yeah, fine. Good man. But anyways, uh, yeah, he's got a, um, like, a bit more cancer built up. Yeah, yeah, and, and basically, you saying that actually has made me realize you, you, you're fucking right because he is probably out of all my mates, he is the most difficult one to see and spend time with because he's always got some excuses to why he's busy or why he can't make it or why he's doing something else. And now you say it, that probably has a lot to do with it. To be honest with you, like I don't, I don't yeah, because when you realize that you you're not bound to this thing where you you you're you're bound to a couple of 
whatever maybe maybe the couch becomes your smoking the ceremonial thing right and then you're yeah. bound to this area where you're like this or whatever it's so it's so weird when you think about it how much it rewires because i was like thinking I, I don't i don't know i had like a thought to myself like there was like a crumbs of tobacco still laying because I, I threw the i had like a little bit left over i threw it away because i had but i had like crumbs laying here and and i was throwing them out and as i was doing it i had like this instant thought like you shouldn't do that and i was like wow well, what the fuck that's such bullshit we, we just decided that we were gonna quit and now we're like mm. hold up this is you know what i mean yeah sorry i uh no worries, yeah. Yeah. um but it makes a lot of sense i know yeah you're right it's probably it probably does have a lot to do with it that he just um unfortunately yeah. has to plan around what he's doing around whether Maybe. or not he'll be able to smoke 20 a day um which is sad yeah really. exactly that's that's probably the biggest reason i can think of to quit now you mentioned it like um just that limiting what you do every day so so yeah it is um, yeah but yeah and it sucks that you, it fucks up your 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 um what's it called your condition i guess uh is that another word <laughs> I don't know. um yeah how how um how much breaths you can take you know what i mean oh like yeah. it, fuck, it fucks up like how endurance uh, yeah. i guess yeah like it's like yeah that guy's asthmatic as well would you believe it <laughs> What he's just yeah, asthma? Yeah, he he has asthma. Uh, asthma, asthma. asthma. I don't know how you pronounce asthma. asthma. Um, he's asthmatic. <laughs> asthma. Is it asthma? Is it a, a- yeah, asthma? Bro, I'm Dutch. We, Go on. Asthma. Asthma. We say, no, he's asthma. Asthma. As- I, gonna, I thought it was asthma. <laughs> it just sounds to me saying. I don't know why. Um, he, he has asthma as well, and I'm just like, dude, you smoke, sure. smoke twenty a day, and you have like, th- this is a clear problem here. Yeah. But, but I yeah. got this colleague as well. I got mm. this colleague as well. But when you're not smoking and you see people struggling with with quitting. It seems so nonsensical the way their brain is 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 fighting them. You know what I mean? Because yeah. when you observe it in other people, it's so like obvious. Like, oh my god, your your brain is fooling you, bro. But it, it's wild, man. Cigarettes. So yeah. I I told I told Tusi I got I didn't get mad. He thought I got, got mad, but I didn't get mad. But I, I told him that he shouldn't bring because uh, he was the one who brought the nicotine in my house, and then ah. we started smoking joints, and I had it laying around because he was like, no, just leave it at your place, bro. <laughs> I was mm-hmm. like, all right. Thanks, man. You know I mean? Hey, you know, t- temptation's yeah, been there for me as well. Um, to, to be honest with you, I, I I said before about how I've I've now been quit for almost four months, um, which is true, which is true. I'm obviously coming up towards the end of April. That will be four months. Um, but obviously, while I was in Manchester the other day, I was feeling down, and my friend had his mate there who who was also a smoker, and she offered me a, a drag of her cigarette at some point in the night, and I was umming and ahhing, and I was thinking, can I get away with just doing it as a social smoker? Am I even going to like it? What's going to happen here? And in the end, you would like it. The first one, the first mm. cigarette. After a while, right? No, sorry, go for it. Yeah. So the, the thing is, I, I literally, I thought to myself, I was like, I don't really want to do this, but I think I have the strength now to just simply be able to say no immediately afterwards if if I regret the decision. So I literally, I took one drag from the cigarette, not even not even a full drag, and I swear to God, I coughed and spluttered more than I did the first time I ever really? smoked a cigarette. Yeah. So I literally just, I wow. threw it down immediately and I was like, nope, I'm sorry. I, I can't smoke the rest of that, like, or any more of that. And I just, in that moment. It probably means that you're, you're healed, right? Yeah. The, 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 there, there was a mixture in that healed. moment of like, um, oh shit, I just caved in. But also at the same time, I caved in and it didn't work. So I'm like fully, I'm good now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, because cigarettes are are yeah. are they gross? I never know. When I when I'm in they like a mode are, where I'm yeah. smoking, <laughs> yeah. But when I'm in a mode where I'm smoking, I'm loving them. You know what I mean? Well, also, yeah, I love that I can't taste my food. I'm like, oh, I'm like all in for the ride. <laughs> Super in love with that stuff. I know, that, but they are gross, right? That, yeah, unfortunately, is that. I mean, you, mm. you mentioned this as well. Obviously, the smell, the fucking smell that you don't notice while you smell of it, but it's fucking there and it's disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, it's it fucking bad. Well, I have, yeah. I have this I have this mug mm-hmm. that I just keep with a uh, with like an ashtray or whatever. Oh. And I, got, and I don't actually. <laughs> that looks like a cup of death. Yeah, yeah it's a cup of death. But I just flush mm. it down the toilet, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Whenever I am. Yeah. yeah. Hey, do you want to talk about Falcon and Winter Soldier? Yes, I was actually going to say. I, already, I did the introduction, so it's like I love the podcast. Don't get me wrong, but it's mm-hmm. like I feel like we need to address it. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah. You watch it. Had a good time. Yeah, yeah. I've watched. I, I've only watched it all once. As I said before, but I, I'm I'm very much up to date. Um, it might satisfy you to know we've been recording for just under thirty minutes, so two halves. There you go. Um, but yeah, obviously Falcon yeah, White Soldier. Keep going. That yeah, that shit was that shit was really good. Um, I, I mean, I don't even know. What shit to, was really good. There was so many themes in there. To be honest with you, did you like the suit? I did. I did like the suit. A lot of people don't. Weirdly enough, from what I've seen. Um, yeah, well, I was kind of hoping it would be more mechanical, but I don't mind it yeah. too much. It's like a, it's literally what they did in the comics, and it looks good. Yeah. It's a bit goofy, maybe, but I feel like it's kind of face fourish, right? It is a bit goofy, I but I, like... I, I think I'm. I like to try and put reason behind stuff like that. I think the reason why it's goofy, and I think the reason why it's fine being goofy, is because there was that big that was that big theme of um, they want to see a black Captain America. So it's like he's not going to try and like 
hide or be discreet or have like a more blackened suit. He's Captain America. He's wearing the blue, white, and red. You know, like it's yeah, all on yeah, there, yeah. and it's got to be flamboyant because it's, it's making him. It's you know, it's a message of like this guy is Captain America, and I like that. And they'll probably he'll probably get some uh, yeah, like it's but he'll probably get some like new suits versions, and they'll probably like yeah. comment on it as well. Oh yeah, of course. You know what I mean? How did how did they do that? But yeah, no, it's it's a good suit. I was going to talk about um, the wings. I, I had like yeah. a, a bunch of notes. Yeah. Um, oh sweet. The yeah, wings go ahead. feel like the. Yeah, and I, I was I was just like rewatching it. I was like, "Fuck it, bro." I mean, you told me to do this uh, to do this note thing, right? Yeah, it has like a bunch of gross things as well. But anyways, um, the wings seem more alive than the wings. I don't know if you've seen scenes yeah. with the old wings, but the wings, the 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 animation was so much more mechanical. Just like mm. flap, flap, flap. You know what I mean? It was never th- these ones. They feel like a, maybe Bucky's arm, like all the much more yep. individual parts that move or whatever. Uh, I was thinking, how is it? How I don't know how it's controlled. I guess with his mind, because he's not doing the little Maybe. control thingy anymore with his watch. True, actually, yeah, true. I, I honestly think, uh, well, I mean, it's it's vibranium, obviously, as we know, um, because we had yeah. that, uh, in episode that's five. That's wild, vibranium wings. That's yeah. big. That's huge. It's cool, isn't it? So yeah. he, they're going to be lighter and more advanced and stronger than his wings beforehand. Hence, why when he you know dived on that guy on the bridge, he could put the shield up and bring the wings round, and he's got like this huge ball of vibranium protection around this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wonderful. And you see it hitting the floor, and it's like yeah. it's like a ball. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. it protects him right right away. Yeah, it's awesome. It's fucking bunch cool. of fucking cool fight stuff. Bunch of cool. They they they. Because they changed the wings to have to be more alive, to feel more like natural, whatever. Because mm-hmm. it's very barely not right. Mm-hmm. Um, they were able to do a lot more cool shit with the shield, uh, with yeah. the wings. Yeah. Than they previously did. It was very cool to me. Like how he he sticks him at the ground at one point. Yeah, yeah. You, know that's that? cool. you remember that when yeah, when he's fighting yeah. Carly? Yeah. And um, that's good. Yeah. I really like the fact that he like makes up for the fact that he doesn't have super soldier serum by just being a badass with the wingsuit. Like that that's the best part of it for me personally. Because you have John Walker, for example, who actually in the end spoiler warning, if you, <laughs> is who actually in the end did oh, did, yeah, did, yeah, did, yeah. did actually end up getting the, the super serious uh, the super soldier serum. As I thought he would. I was very confident that he would. Um because he, he was almost like envious the whole time that he was that he wasn't powerful enough. And even with the super soldier serum, he was still nothing compared to Captain America. But Falcon, without the super soldier serum, was still a badass, and he could still hold his own with the wingsuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a. Uh, and I like that. I like that. That's that. That's. But the, again, because you know. the Falcon is just like a good fighter, I guess. Yeah, I guess. But yeah. so is so is uh, so is you as agent or Walker. Yeah, he's probably gonna be better as well. To be fair. Um, but yeah, yeah, US agent as he's now called, as you mentioned. US agent, yeah. yeah. I like his outfit, bro. I love his arc, but in this, yeah. I've never seen a character that got introduced in a series. I mean, I've never, never there's only been two Marvel series, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but it was so cool how we got he got introduced, and then within the season, he got such an incredible arc. Because I was like rooting. I, I'll be honest, I was rooting from this guy from the beginning, right? From the beginning, yeah. I was I was thinking like, man, he's just misunderstood because Bucky and uh, and Sam they don't want to talk to him when they're in like, mm-hmm. the truck, uh, wherever they are at that point. Yeah. And they're in the truck, and then they don't want to join, whatever, and they're being dicks about it. And I get it because they stole their buddy's yeah. thing. But, yeah. but I thought it was kind of like spiteful. And then uh, I kind of really felt bad for Walker as well when, it, like, his best fucking friend, like, and the, the acting was so good. Who's the guy that, that acts uh, Walker? Do you know? Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't know his name, unfortunately. No. I love the scene when Lamar dies, and the guy's like, Lamar, Lamar, Lamar. Yeah, it's, you know it's what good. I mean? and it's really it's, good. It's really good. Like, so I really f- feel bad for this guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, for. Yeah, same. Um, so I'm glad he got like a redemption arc where yeah. he got to redeem himself. It was very yeah, good. Yeah, so, I mean to be fair, I, I kind of not expected it, but there, there was a point there where like I kind of felt. No, like I thought that... he was gonna go haywire this episode. I thought he was gonna yeah. complete because I saw him like hammering away in the end credit scene of last episode, oh. and I thought he was gonna go completely fucking psycho off the rails, oh. like slice somebody's head off. You know what I mean? I said that was that was brutal. To be fair, they're like they're literally episode two of the series. Um, <laughs> I was sat watching it with my with my uni friends uh, as always. It's like a ritual now. On Friday morning, we'll all group up and come watch it. I'm like, <laughs> and the one with Disney Plus. So yeah, nice. Um, and, and I was sat there nice. on, sat on the sofa, uh, and, and uh, obviously some of my friends were there. And there was someone who was there who fucking loves Captain America. Like she utterly, utterly loves Captain America. And she basically just was so pissed off at how much his image was being destroyed that she, no joke, left midway through the episode and still has, <laughs> still has not watched any more episodes at all. And in that moment, I thought, I was like, yeah, it's shit. He's, he's, he's a crap Captain America, and obviously he's not doing nearly as good of a job. But I thought, I was like, this guy's under a lot of fucking pressure. He's basically just a really yeah. good soldier who has been hired to fill the shoes of one of the most yeah. incredible people in the last hundred years, you know? And... It's too much pressure. This legendary icon. It's, yeah. it's well, 
Yeah, and this guy is also. I, I thought it was so so truthful. Yeah, for sure. And it was so truthful what he said uh, at some point when he's like talking to the senator and this and and because he has this broken arm, right? Which yes. was fucking brutal, by the way. Mm, Seven was... Bucky break oh. his fucking arm. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It was super brutal. It's like Thanos style, but then they actually do it, right? <laughs> yeah. But um, and then but then what Walker says, he's so fucking right. Like you guys built me, you know. In a, it's will, it's weird, but this is his perspective right very yeah. good storytelling very fucking good very powerful yeah it's true like i i, I do really like that when you have like a villain in a series because obviously he's going to be a villain of sorts i imagine in the future because he still doesn't have that sort of like yeah but he's so dorky he's probably gonna he's kind of probably gonna emotionally struggle with it right yeah because... yeah um i feel like it does make a lot of sense though that that, that moment because he's, he's basically there just paying for someone else's actions right now like he's he's been dragged into this situation that he doesn't really want to be in and not really going anywhere with it when i first saw the trailer and they had the captain america running onto the football pitch in the trailer right i genuinely thought that was going to just be a scene where for example you know sam and um and bucky are just at like a football game or something like that. Oh just, yeah. yeah, and they just see like and a, this is the mascot. Scene. Yeah, they, they just yeah. see a mascot and they're like, oh god, that reminds me of this guy who I lost recently. I am sad now. I thought that's what it was going to be. I didn't realize they were going to just take some guy who was a completely normal guy, just a good soldier, no superpowers, no super soldier serum, no nothing, and just say, "You're Captain America now." I thought it was going to be an actor who was just playing a mascot for a football yeah, team. Yeah, but no, they it. they just kind of like thing. hired someone to fill the shoes of a superhero who doesn't have superpowers. It's it's weird to me. Like, he's there. Well, he's there I guess on... I guess the intent was that the world needed an icon, just like how Cap was an icon. Yeah. Um, and there were speculation. People were speculating that, right? That that mm. that um, uh, he is he that he would only be uh, what Cap was in the, in the beginning of the of the Captain America movie, right? Yeah. Where he's only appearing on TVs and whatever. I, I was actually not expecting him to actually go on missions, maybe per se. Yeah, like how he how he turned up in a helicopter, like they're this fucking strikes strike that's, team. That's what I, I didn't expect well. that at first. That's what I mean. That's why I thought he would just be like a, a, an icon for the people to look up to. I didn't think he would yeah, actually yeah, yeah, go into sure. the battlefield with a shield because it, it's like it's not him. He's he's but, a, he's but a... they're so they're so clever, right? The guys at Marvel, they're so fucking yeah. clever, right? They yeah. probably made this trailer and they know how people interpret it or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And it's fucking wild. Yeah, here it, we go it again. Is, fucking it's... sucking Marvel's dick. <laughs> Always. Yeah, we always, always do, forever. Right? Yeah. I was, I was like, obviously, I imagine you want to do another podcast after Loki finishes, which I'm more than happy for. For as well. sure. Yeah, man, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, and obviously, I think before Loki finishes, or maybe just after Loki finishes, Black Widow's also coming out as well. Um, I don't know about you. I'm hyped for Black Widow. I think it's going to be wonderful. The trailer looks amazing. I, but yeah. You do you want to watch the trailer? We could watch it. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. If you can share it. Okay. You're recording right now still? I am. Yes, I am. Uh, do you want to awesome. do you want to do the editing afterwards? <laughs> uh, because yeah, I can, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do all the share screen and everything now. Let me see. Yeah, uh, no problem. I'll do all the editing. I don't know how you're going to give it back to me. I just hope the audio is like semi balanced. You know what I mean? I'm going to have to. Oh, there we go. oh here I am. <laughs> I'm going to have to change to the, continue to, the to the browser. Let me see. Uh, Spoilers for what we're going to talk about. <laughs> where's my browser? Sorry. I was... That's fine, Dory. Let me just see. Oh, do doing. I need to watch your stream? Uh, yes. Let me see. Uh, there it is. Scalabot on YouTube. That's me. Okay. I'm doing a podcast with you. You record Brilliant. everything. I feel so fancy, <laughs> man. It's fine. I uh, feel so like taken care of. It's so nice. Yeah, bro. It's good shit. Uh, Black Widow trailer. <laughs> Nice. It, it'll be a really big gold mine Subscribe in the future. Subscribe to Yeah, thanks, guys. It'll be a really big gold mine in the future to set up something properly um, where, like, you know, I could switch between Windows on Discord and it work all nicely in post. That would be cool. Okay, so this is the latest trailer. Um, I'll get this on now and we can give it a watch. Okay. You don't know everything about me. I've lived a lot of lives before I was an Avenger, before I got this family. I mean, mistakes. Choosing between what the world wants you to be. And who you but are. But this is just old footage, right? This is footage from previous films, yeah. I believe this is how <laughs> That white suit is fucking started. cool. Yeah, Where did does. you think I was all this time? We have unfinished business. Blue hair is good. Yeah, I don't know about my this. girls. Are the toughest girls in the world. Oh, that's probably. I'm okay. sorry. They're, they're gonna do time we stuff. And they're gonna see. We're gonna see. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It was real. 
to me. To me, you were everything. Oh, blue over it. Oh. Put your seatbelts on. She's such a worm. Well, apparently, mimics all the superheroes. Like, that's the same. Like, he's mimicking Hawkeye there, obviously. Captain America with yeah, the shield. Like, he's. Uh, camp, yeah. It's fucky that. Like, it's, uh, you know. What is that scene? I'm so sure. excited for that scene. Is it, is it space or whatever? It's what just, it, they're, just yeah. they're just falling through the sky. No idea why. There's fucking huge buildings there. They're just in free fall. I do not know what the fuck is going on in that scene. I would love to know what that's going to be like. For you. But yeah. I mean, this soundtrack is so wild. I know. It's, it's yeah, so man. Taskmaster is a fucking cool one. Yeah. Um, uh, do you think ha there's any links to stuff we've already seen in this in this uh, yes. in, in uh, Black Widow? Yeah, I really, I really like, obviously so. the lady that yeah. we've just met. Yeah. In uh, in Falcon yeah. and the Soldier will be in there. If you remember right, the, 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 there was a scene in Age of Ultron where Scarlet Witch, while she was evil, uh, went round and gave everyone visions with her wiggly woos, as they were later called. Um, and she basically gave everyone like a really bad, you know, she gave Cap a vision of like tragedy where he was no longer in 1940 and, and, and he, Peggy was there. Uh, he made, she made everyone see like a, a really negative vision, right? Same with, Cap, with, with Tony Stark in the, in the first scene. The, the vision that she gave to Black Widow was of her upbringing, like her childhood. And you saw some really... Oh strange imagery in that scene you know she was on uh like a hospital table being rushed down a hallway and she goes past girls with their with their mouths sewn shut and then she's there beating up people oh. and they're telling her to stop holding back because they know that she's really strong but if she shows it she'll have to go through the ceremony it's like really fucked up i love the imagery in that scene because it was it was it was horrifying to be honest with you um i really hope we're going to get more of that <laughs> in this i've never like i've never tuned into it in that way oh bro you gotta watch it fuck it we're gonna watch it right now because it's it's wonderful all right uh, age of ultron uh <laughs> I, visions. i'll tune it back into your stream <laughs> okay let me see uh of course age of ultron visions has come up with vision yeah that's the one with captain i, I recognize captain america one yes age the of shield ultron. in half black widow vision uh, natasha romano uh black widow's vision here we go this is the one okay so i'll get this full screen okay, yeah uh, yeah thank you okay Oh, right. So, obviously, in this scene, Scarlet Witch has just given her the Wiggly Woos. Yeah, the Wiggly Woos. I, I love how quiet this is in the film. It's eerie. Where is this? Russia? This is where she was raised, we presume. Again. Don't break them. Only the breakable ones. You're made of marble. We'll celebrate after the graduation ceremony. If I fail. Yeah. So do you think she really sh had to shoot the guy, but she blocked it out, and that's why she's no. remembering it as a... I, I think she did a lot of bad things. <laughs> and obviously now I've got Steven in the 1940s. <laughs> yeah, sure. <But> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. This is actually the only one that's not bittersweet because he did go back in time, so he's he's fine. This is all good for him. Yeah, now he's uh... all right. I'm over this. I'm gonna zoom back into your face. No worries. Is it him? But yeah, you see what I mean there. Obviously, from the from the imagery on um, in that quick scene where there's just it's it's like eerie, and I honestly think a large portion of this film is going to just be exploring that. 30 second sequence just in a lot more detail and i've wanted that ever since watching age of ultron in 2014 i really have who's so, directing it the the Falcon or the black widow movie i don't know actually i'm gonna check now um could you look it up black widow it is being directed by kate shortland i do not know what kate shortland oh. has made before let me see <laughs> me neither search for i want to see what films she's done previously that'd be nice to know actually thank you jamie you so used to people googling shit now in my podcast. <laughs> uh, honestly, Sarah. nothing. I nothing I recognize. Um, Law, somersault, Berlin syndrome, joy. There's not much I can see, unfortunately. Uh, obviously, Black Widow is, is, is her biggest film so far. Uh, but I'm excited. Yeah, so they they got a, is it? It's a woman, I imagine. It is. Yes, it is. I think it's a, a good choice. Very well. I kind of I kind of start I, I kind of start to notice now. Have you ever seen Scrubs? You've ever seen a no, show? No, actually, no, no. 
it's good i start to notice now when when women are written by men because you can kind of tell you know what i mean yeah yeah so it's a, yeah. It's a... <laughs> i never even considered that that's quite interesting actually i'll look for that now actually it's funny yeah um, you'll you'll know if they um uh, they're always like the, they're like they're like your girlfriend if they're like your girlfriend's annoying friend you know what i mean it's probably it's probably written yeah. by a guy i imagine <laughs> it, i have no idea maybe it, but that's good with the five i get when i watch scrubs that's quite like funny, uh, good, you, you've never seen scrubs i wanted to um talk about i, I had some more notes if you, if you mm. want to talk yeah. about them go ahead yeah, yeah. uh I, there was one quote mm. in uh in the show obviously in the episode today this is only from the latest episode uh because I, I thought that falcon gave a really or captain america i guess gave a really really good speech to the senator and i really like it when he says uh these labels are often used to get around the question why right it's mm. very obvious right because uh and he, then he says like thug terrorists and it's very weird because this woman right it's carly morgenthal whatever her name is um just went around the world with her gang of uh, crooks you know wicked crooks yeah. and killed a bunch of people but he's still like i, I really liked it that he um try to make sure that she didn't die for nothing you know what i mean yeah that's that she was like uh yeah like almost like avenging her idea but he didn't agree with it but also he thought like the people had to step up so i i, I don't know very very good it's very cool to has to see them kind of portray this um conversation a very mature conversation you know what i mean that i feel like people in real life should maybe have more often with each other more like uh i don't know you know if that's true yeah, but that's no, the vibe i, I kind of got i completely agree. it's like a kind of ballsy too right because it was yeah. really straight on like no this is what what we think right yeah i mean I, I think there's a lot of reason why he did stand up for though because obviously one of the elements of the show was the idea that his his uh was it his sister i think it was his sister wasn't it who obviously had the boat yes yeah, um and she was she yeah, was yeah. suffering because of the blip as well you know she, she, she was she was struggling for money she had the situation with the boat that they all obviously helped out with in that scene that was that was quite cute as well wild um, how much they were able to explore uh, around the blip by the way it's very cool yeah i, re I really like that they, i like that this is an ongoing trend in marvel it's not like some simple thing that happened and now we're done with it it's like well, there are some really major after effects of what happened because you know half the planet disappeared for a whole five years you think society would have tried to rebuild itself in that time and then of course the other half of society comes back to a world which doesn't have space <laughs> yeah. for them so it makes a lot of sense unfortunately. Yeah, exactly yeah yeah um Mar and Mar for some reason i would kind of expect super superhero movies to just kind of gloss over it like who has the time yeah. for that sort of storytelling yeah but apparently they do and apparently it works great right disney money that's this ticket right disney there. money yeah for sure I love it so much uh yeah because obviously in that scene he, he he the main reason like one of his main motivations to be to stand up and finally take up the shield and the mantle was because of i hate that i can't remember his name but the, the, you know the old black guy who was captain america oh i see yeah i see yeah um, i see yeah i see yeah, yeah. Isaiah, yeah. Um, Isaiah bradley right i i love that storyline i i love that element of the show so much mm. the idea that this this guy was basically serving his country and acting as captain america for such a long period of time and he was never once known about by the public it's an awful, awful crime, and it, and it, it reflects. It is, and it's so, it, and it's so real, though. Yeah, like, it's so like, that's the worst like part. it's like a whip, like uh, it's like a, it's like a telescope right at America, right? Because we all yeah. fucking, we don't live there, but we all get the fucking stories, right? The holy yeah. shit, what are they doing right there, right now? I know. It's, and, it's and, still and, so and this bad. story, well, it's so yeah, but this, th that's why this episode is so good. You know what I mean? Mm. As well, it's like this is like the best black. I mean, I'm not black, and maybe Black Panther is also like a really good black story. I don't know, yeah. but this sounds like such a good like, you know black story mm. you know what i mean I th but maybe I it's think, one of those um, i don't know i think black panther was really good for black people as a whole because for, for example just something as simple as this it gives it gives a 10 year old kid a superhero that they can relate to and that's you know that they can really relate to and they, they can for sure put on a costume and think i look like black panther that's amazing i love that um but, but I, I feel like story-wise he, he could have been white you know what I mean? well it yeah. could have been a white white <laughs> tribe it would have been kind of offensive but yeah uh, unfortunately to this day as much as i am happy that black panther exists because of what it did for people i don't think it's a very good film to be honest with you i think it's one of the uh, weaker oh, really? films in in the later phases of amcu oh. to be honest with you yeah yeah I, I i think i think falcon winter soldier was a wonderfully executed example of of that kind of, I guess, Black Pride, would you call it that? Or I guess it's the Black Lives Matter type. I, I don't know how you call it, but yeah. Um, black appreciation. <laughs> but I don't know. Wakanda, you, you mean? 
No, I, I, I'm, I'm also mean how they portrayed the situation in Falcon Winter Soldier. Um, obviously, th- there was the scene where Sam and Bucky were in the were, were in the street and they were having an argument, and the fucking yeah, police yeah. come over and they're and like, they stopped, "Is this guy yeah. bothering you?" And he's like, "Are you kidding me?" And then they end up arresting Bucky <laughs> because, of course, Bucky's yeah. the one who's actually just skipped his therapy session, and obviously Sam's done fucking nothing wrong, as is the case. And it's just it's sad how real that is in America to this day. This, this happens. To- yeah, for sure. And this mm. happens in the neighborhood of Isaiah, right? This, yeah. It's just that scene. Yeah. Um, Precisely. All right. Do you do you know the kid from Isaiah? Do you know, or like the nephew, whatever? No, actually. You no. know, like the kid that hangs around. Mm. He's gonna be like, a, apparently, I don't know this, but apparently he's like in some like new Avenger team, whatever. Because really? they're like, we talked about this last time. Mm. Yeah, we talked about last time that they're like seeding kids into the universe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That could be cool, actually. And um, yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know what he is? Is he like? I have no idea. Is he the guy's I have no idea. son or grandson or something? Does he have like He made... must be he must be a version of like Captain America because yeah. in, in the comics, uh Isaiah Bradley was also a version of Captain America, right? Yes, precisely. Um So Yeah. It it will probably be like I don't know, yeah. Isaiah's Brad Isaiah Bradley's I don't know, I don't really know. Yeah. But it it'll be like that type of deal. Because most of the kid Avengers, um, they take up to their parents, right? With mm. abilities and powers and suits and whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like well, how how do you think that they're gonna do uh, handle uh, Chadwick Boseman? May he rest in peace. Uh, that he died. I have no fucking idea. I have been. I've had this conversation with so many people. I have no fucking idea. Marvel has consistently done a fantastic job with so much of what they've done over the last five five years, and. I honest to God, this is, I, I think this is the most difficult thing they've ever handled, to be honest with you. I, I think this is more difficult than the pure bliss fan service that we got with all the recent films. I think this is going to be really hard for them to do because they have said that they're not taking him out of the film. He's still he's still on the cast list, you know, but they haven't filmed a single scene with him yet. And um, Not a single scene? Not a single scene. I, so I, they only have some, some backlog from the previous yeah. films and maybe from... They have to like they're probably scrapping. This is the footage we have. Yeah. So do you, do you think they're just gonna make him die of cancer? I honestly don't know. The, I I think because you th- can tell a good cancer mm. story. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. it's a, and you can tell a good and it's almost like a it's like the purest way to acknowledge an actor dying. It's like well, even superheroes, right? That's a really good point, actually. That's a really really good idea because well, then you don't have to get around anything. You don't have to write any. You know, you don't have to compl- You don't have to do much complicated writing yeah. as much or like bad CGI. That's what I don't. I don't want to. I really do that don't want to CGI fucking... it. No, like um, Grandma Moff Tarkin was was enough for me. <laughs> I'm like, no more, please. Um, no doubt it's improved. Yeah, he looks since like a cartoon. But, yeah, uh, yeah, it I'd... has, but also. It's kind of like uh, disrespectful, maybe. That's what I but, think, but, that's yeah. me, I'm, but that's what I'm making it up. That I don't know if that's true. If it's disrespectful, no, I agree but, with you. I, but then again, I can't get my head around. Is it is it more disrespectful to CGI him and give us this kind of like halfway, you know, uncanny valley type effect, or is it more disrespectful to just take him out of the film entirely? What I think would be the best way of doing it, actually, I, I, I've thought about this. I can kind of already vi- envision the opening scene would just be. The idea that the scene, op- that this film opens with his funeral, like like just the most grandiose, over the top, incredible, respectful funeral you could possibly have, and the first ten minutes of the film would just be dedicated to basically just saying, he died, and 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 that's that's fucking sucks, obviously, but let's honor him properly. Because <laughs> I, I... <laughs> he got in a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I mean, honest to God, I I think you actually make a really good point. I think I think saying that he died of he cancer, hit by a car. saying that he died of cancer in the MCU would actually be a really good. That's thing what to I would do. do, right? Yeah, because and maybe maybe it could be something like the vibranium. Too much vibranium is like cancer inducing or whatever yeah so, you know what i mean so then they automatically yeah. nerf vibranium like oh shit no you can't just make a iron man suit out of vibranium be invincible because apparently you might die of cancer it's a fair point but that's, really, i don't really know i mean may- maybe it's the fucking trains from the vibranium mines you know, remember he was inside of the uh the bubble that it oh created. yeah the sonic the sonic field yeah maybe that maybe that fucked him up <laughs> i have no idea he saved um, wakanda but unfortunately but unfortunately but wakanda is kind of a fucked up state right that, that yeah. the king Whoever kills the king gets to be the next king. No, no, like mm. no questions asked. I think, I think they moved on from that right? in Black Panther, though. To be fair, because obviously the ending of Black I think Panther. They have. <laughs> I, th- I don't know. I think so. Um, obviously, I mean, yeah. The, the the obvious question is though, regardless of how they handle that situation, who is going to replace him as Black Panther? Because the obviously Shuri, Shuri. Shuri. The comics would say that Shuri is going to become Black Panther, and that would be awesome. I would love to see that. Um, however, <laughs> she's an anti-vaxer, <laughs> and she's uh, she. 
She's very into anti-science, unfortunately. She, she posted a lot of very dumb things on Twitter. Uh, and I think Disney How sort of How old is she, though? Uh, not much older than us, I don't think. She's like 24, 25, maybe. I, I honestly don't yeah, know. Tough age, um, tough age to be exposed to that much information. Let probably. me see. Letita writes. Okay, so she is... 1993. Could also be his, his, his girlfriend. It so, could be his mom. It could be. <laughs> kind of weird. So she's 27 years old. I think to be 27 years old in, oh. in this era and have those values is a bit crap, to be honest. Um, but obviously, the world we live in, she was just kind of like probably forced to delete her Twitter account as she did the, the following day, basically. Um, so as long yeah, as... That's, uh, that sucks, though. I, bro, you know mm. what? I'm never going to get cancelled. I promise you right now. If people start cancelling me mm. for whatever I do, because I, I was watching old podcasts. And the first one I did with Zeus, it's a Dutch one. I get so high, and at the end, I'm just like, I'm, it's just like a dark screen. It's just me like laughing to my camera, like, oh, it's, it's 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 fucking garbage. Nice. And I say the N word. Oh, <laughs> oh no! I know, no. but I I know, but I'm just saying, like, that's that's not the deal. But that's that's why, like, I'm never gonna get canceled though, because if people yeah. try to cancel me, it's like. I, it, that's it's part of going to be part of my path, right? We're expecting yeah. that I'm, we're both going to make it because we're both like trying to out here, right? Yeah. So it's going to happen eventually at some point, right? Somebody's yeah. going to be like, "Hey, hold up a minute, you're not black." <laughs> and um, remember this yeah, video but, you but made you in 2014 because... where you said this one word at the end of a 50 minute video? Everything you've done is bad because of that one moment. I agree yeah. with you. It is, it is dumb. I, agree I know. With you. Yeah. The, but do people not get over it? Do you think over canceling as well? But that I, can be like I, I a bit of counterculture, do. get a bit yeah. more rude, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm trying to be a bit more rude, right? I mean, a lot of people tell me this, you're swearing the greatest video. And I'm like, yeah. I'm sorry, but I, like, I can't, like... No, but I, th I think there's a big difference, though. I, I don't know. I, I, I think, don't feel good about it. I think a lot of people get it wrong, because obviously you, what you've just done is you've just talked about that quite openly and just acknowledged that it was a mistake. Because if, if you were saying this right now as though, oh, yeah, I said it, I'm proud of it, I don't regret it, then, then obviously that would be wrong. But if you sit here and say, lol, that was... <laughs> cringe as fuck what the fuck was i thinking then obviously that's that's the right way yeah, to behave I, about it so you know yeah, but yeah. For, for sure and but also i i feel like like i, mean, I don't know whatever there's there's context to most things that's probably the biggest issue with this whole whenever i see like somebody get cancelled the biggest issue is that mm. like and i'm not saying people get cancelled for good reasons as well like i'm not trying to say you know whatever i mean yeah. shit happens but but I'm, I'm just saying i don't know if that's true though the platform people i don't really like that's kind of like against my morals. Like, well, because because yeah. you don't want somebody to get a, I don't know, whatever. It's it's a weird. Hold up, <laughs> I've, I'll I'll just hit you with another note. But that's not yeah, yeah, good for you. Mm. Um, I love the scene where Walker uh, he pops in because the flag smashers are running away. They're under a bridge. Mm. Walker like pops in. Mercy is better than strict justice. You know what I mean? And then they walk away. And then um, yeah. he says. The great quote, Lincoln, and a book he says, not when you say it. I thought it was really funny. The the the, 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 the conversation is so it's so true, so so awesome, so yeah. good, um, so real. Yeah, I completely agree. Uh, I, I like that there's that the boomers say Black Falcon, and then the kids are like, ah, that's Captain America. Yeah, right? it's, it's good. It's like this old guy, because yeah. it's kind of like real as well, right? There's a lot of boomers there, like, like, know. Don't, you know what I mean? They're just yeah, yeah. bitchy boomers. Need to get to, they need to die at some point. We're not now. I'm not gonna do you know whatever. Yeah. Covid will get to them. Whatever. No, I agree. With and you. I like that the youth were like, "Fuck yeah, Captain America," because uh, you know that's a good a good thing, right? Good yeah. Positivity open the you know better fucking better times. Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree. That's one of the main things we really like. About oh yeah. To be fair. I have a question to, to you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the blue haired lady? I don't know who she is. The who? She's in Friends apparently. The blue haired. Oh, the, the, blue -haired lady. In, um, the one that speaks to John Walker. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Courthouse, yeah. And to Bucky, she gives the phone to Bucky that Carly Morgenthau. Yeah, because Carly, yeah, that's weird. I never, mm. I, I didn't connect those two dots until I. Uh, that was weird. She's, she's suddenly she's everywhere, and I don't know. I don't. Is she talking to Bucky? Does Bucky know her? Do they have a relationship, or, or does Bucky just think that this random woman handed the phone and didn't think about it? Because that's, that's what it seems actually. like. That's a bit odd. Actually, yeah, weird. Actually. I think she's going to be a big player in the future for sure, because um, obviously they've set her up to be very involved with with john walker's captain america uh, or u.s agent as he's obviously now called US agent, um, yeah. but yeah so i'm interested to see how that goes what did by the way what did you think of the the deal with sharon as in sharon sharon carter um 
Oh man, I I mean I buy it. I mean I don't I don't yeah. issue with it. I thought she was kind of a boring character. She was never going to be a, a love interest for Steve Rogers. I never was believing it because he was no. so in love with uh, Peggy, right? So I was never convinced of that, anyways. Yeah. Uh, and I like that they've gone with the, the route that she was just a naive kid because that's what she, she she says she relates to uh, Carly Morgenthau, right? Yeah. So I like that she's now just like she was a naive kid back then, and now she is. Uh, you know, she was kicked out of the fucking country, but frankly, she's a smart fucking gal, and she made her, you know, she made a name for herself all while staying anonymous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I thought, I thought that was very believable. Like yeah. I've heard people say that they didn't like it, but what else were you gonna do with this character? She was either never gonna return or be the same old boring character. Now she's very interesting. Yeah. Right. I mean, apparently, she's a smart. Uh, Sorry, go on. No, I was going to say, because t- to be fair, th- th- there was a point in episode three where obviously Sam and Bucky go to visit her uh, on, you know, in Madripoor. And they sort of, they, they see her in Madripoor and obviously Sam is kind of like, Sharon, what the fuck are you doing here? And she goes, you guys realize that after the events of Civil War, you kind of just ditched me and I had to just kind of go on the run. And I, in that moment, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, they forgot about her. Like, like she, she just kind of like, she served her purpose to them and they just forgot. And she, what happened yeah, to her? Yeah, but you can't. I yeah. don't really know. I kind of expected that, that that after the last time we saw her was in uh, the Winter Soldier, right? Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Was it Winter Soldier? No, I think it. No, was I think a, it, it was Civil War because it was it because yeah, this was the point where Bucky was. What did she do in Civil War? Because in in Civil War she she oh what did she do? I think she helped bust Bucky out of the prison that he was in. Oh no 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 that wasn't it no because Zemo controlled him and he busted himself out. Um, I think she just helped hide. Captain America, she was there Bucky. though yeah I'm pretty sure i think b- b- yeah, because she because there. she did that because she d- defied the government and defied the, the sokovia records basically um she was then obviously a criminal as much as the rest of them were um, right because so, and a bunch of them actually got put in, got put in prison prison yeah they did right? yeah because yeah. uh ant-man got put in prison uh i don't know who else falcon probably i don't remember to be honest yeah it was ant-man falcon wanda was put in prison um Hawkeye. It was all yeah. the ones that were on Captain America's eyes um, with the Scovia records, obviously. Yeah, and I guess um, she fled or whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I like I like the character. Though. I, like I, I had the question to you mm-hmm. about the the blue haired lady because mm-hmm. uh, she says to at the end she says to um, what's his face Walker to U.S. agent right. Mm-hmm. Uh, things are about to get weird, and we need a U.S. agent right. That's why he, yeah. that's where she does the big name reveal. Mm-hmm. But she says things are about to get weird. Uh, I'm thinking, this is not a, this is not a like world sh- like galaxy changing event. This is more of a, you know, she's about to reveal herself. You know what I mean? Yeah. With a, with a group of or like she's about to set something in motion. I don't really mm-hmm. know. Things are about to get weird. I don't know what that means. Uh, I, I, th- I thought maybe you had a theory. Ha- have had a chance to think about it. I don't know. I mean, um, some of my some of my friends that were watching the finale with me at the time, um, who were a lot more in tune with the you know the comics and, and what they base all this stuff off of, um, John Walker actually has a team in the comics called the Thunderbolts, and they yeah, basically I, have. Yeah, I read this. Yeah, they have like um, Red Hulk, Abomination, uh, the Taskmaster, apparently, and, and like a bunch of other people who are like, um, I guess, gray area characters at times, but pretty much just villains, really. Um, so my my guess is there's going to be some sort of like fake avengers type crap to be honest um with with her being the nick fury but, but, of that but, thing so who did they who did they still have to in, that sounds awesome by the way like mm. i'm all for it if they build these characters like they build walker and it's just going to be a team of these characters that might that has a chance to have me more emotionally invested than the first avenger film and that was awesome for me yeah. as a kid when i first, first time ever came together it was fucking dope but but um so they're missing right now taskmaster they'll have black widow yes yeah, so he'll he'll be uh, he'll he'll be old, I guess. I but no also, idea. how so? How the fuck does he have Black Panther claws? I don't know. <laughs> he, has he met? Has he met the? I honestly don't know. Uh, um, he I has. He wouldn't. He seems to have loads of stuff. I guess we'll find out in the film. Um, but his thing is like obviously mimicry of the other the superheroes, which is which is cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I think actually weird enough, the characters like Abomination and and Red Hulk, I think they're actually getting introduced in She Hulk, which is quite exciting. Because again, it's more crossover, more connections between things, and um, they're gonna do a She-Hulk. Good. I forgot about that. She-Hulk, yeah, that's one of the ones that's coming out next year. Um, so yeah, oh. we're gonna get a lot more stuff in that apparently as well. So I'm excited. By the way, um, <coughs> do you think they're gonna add Abomination from the old Will- uh, Hulk film? Apparently they are. Yeah, <laughs> which sure, is gonna that be. Would work. I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of the first Hulk film. I, I nah, don't. Me neither. I don't include it in the watch but, order. But me neither. But yeah. but I would I would cons- I would argue that. 
the same way that how Spider-Man didn't need like a, a, a story, a, like how, you know, because you know the story of Spider-Man, right? You don't need to tell that story. Yeah. Everybody and their mom knows that story, right? It's like meme into, into whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought that was very, uh, I thought it was very possible to just have abomination there. And, just, and if they re- make references to it, it should just be accurate to that movie, but yeah. you don't necessarily need to include it because it is such a, such a weird one. Agreed. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking that's what they'll do for uh, Abomination. Red Hulk, any theories? Any idea? I don't honestly don't know. I don't. Know. I mean, um, maybe Red Skull type related. Maybe like same series as with Corrupted Red Skull, but perhaps. then it's like a Hulk. I have no idea. I, don't, I, don't I honestly know. don't know. I have to find out to be honest. I mean, would, would it be know. Marvel? They might. They might just choose to go a completely different direction with it anyway. I guess. But but yeah. Anyway, uh, we have been recording for just over an hour. And I think that's pretty Woo! much a good point to wrap it up. I've got some stuff to go do. Hold now, up, so. I have a few more. I have a few more uh, notes for you. If you have time, yeah, you have time yeah, for of course, yeah, notes? shoot, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I really, what I really liked uh, about the uh, the ending when Bucky goes to the old man, yeah. right? Mm. Uh, he says, uh, "Your son." I, I really like his phrasing. It's like the way he said it was very. Uh, I don't know. It was very like a lot of weight to it. Yeah. He says, um, "He he was murdered by the Winter Soldier." And that was me, and then he says, and that was me, and then he says, I didn't have a choice. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just so, so this, that's the entire, that's it, isn't it? Like he was murdered by yeah. very, very, but also honest to himself, right? He understands what happened. He's not like trying to say, no, it wasn't me, it went so, like he, you know, he's, he has a story straight, right? He knows the facts. He's, uh, I don't know, it's good, good ending to his arc, that little confrontation right there. Yeah. I didn't have a choice as well, like acknowledging, right? Like kind of like acknowledging to himself as well. Mm-hmm. Very good. Uh, I like this one shot. I wanted to show this to you, where um, where um, Bucky and Walker are chasing Cardi, and they're like run- running in these halls. And I don't know, man, it's so weird because I'm Walker, right? And Bucky is like somewhere over there, and yeah. he, he runs like this. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks so weird, and it takes me out of it. And I'm like, hold up, did they just try to make a meme? Because I can just see that, see it as a gif, like. I think, Super I think fucking weird. Remember exactly the scene you mean. It was quite funny to be fair. Do you remember the scene of Zemo dancing in Madripoor? Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, yeah. that was very good. <laughs> and they, they did, yeah, that was wonderful. That was Marvel wonderful. released a full hour cut of just Zemo dancing because it was so loved. I love that. So yeah, much. I saw that. It's I mean, I, I didn't watch all of it, but I saw. I, I had seen of it. I had seen it. Yeah, of course. Um, and that was it. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. This fucking dug through it. Oh wait, uh, hold up. Oh yeah. I wanted to at least uh, 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 discuss this with you. <laughs> mm-hmm. The power broker gets a full pardon. Oh yeah! Oh, of course. Oh, that that yeah. That's that... end credit scene, right? I didn't spoil yeah. it. But you saw it, right? No, I know. I saw yeah. it. Yeah, we, we were all waiting for it because obviously with the end credit scene, it's marvelous, isn't it? Um, yeah. I, oh, I don't know. How to feel about that. It, it's crushing, isn't it? It's like I felt so sorry for her in episode three, and I'm like, Sam's gonna get her a full pardon, like she deserves good shit she's gonna come back to reality because yeah, they family, don't know yeah they still then, don't course, know she the killed the guy that knew yeah right? oh my god I, I love that scene so much she's just killed oh. both witnesses like and, and just played off as the victim she's 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 a villain she's great um i know and she's getting a full and the way she gasses that guy right yeah that was that was his head melted <laughs> that was <Yeah>. weird <laughs> like, she is ruthless was... clearly but, yeah, yeah very very deadly hmm Man, it's, yeah, it's, well, she's a. But I don't know if she's a villain. But, well, man, I bet she. Uh, she did. Well, she does it for the right. Uh, the, I don't really know the right reasons. I guess I yeah. love the Frenchman, by the way, because he was in the Winter Soldier, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, right? Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, and I, then I, he I came back, and I loved him. <laughs> Me neither, yeah. but I love that they just took this one character and made him so much more solidified. In the yeah, universe. it's. I, I kind of. I had a feeling he would come back at some point involved with that because obviously, whenever they leave a villain alive, he's probably coming back. Um, well, they're probably coming back. She's probably coming back. Who knows? Um, but yeah, fuck out. I, I thought it was great. This nice callback to that previous film again. I, I love. Th- there's that scene in episode five where Sharon's on the phone to someone, and you just hear French. And me and my friend turn to each other, and it's like it's that fucking acrobat guy from that Captain America film, isn't it? Like, there's just not that many French people. Oh, yeah. So you know, it's it's fair enough. <laughs> It is, and he, it's funny how you say the acrobat guy because he's doing all sorts of flips and all sorts of fucking. I have no idea what his name is, to be honest. I just remember that he did flips <laughs> he and it was cool, and he's French, so French yeah, acrobat and like guy. Good, he, yeah, and he wants a lot of money from uh, from uh, what's her name, Ivanka Trump. Yes, no, that's not her name. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a lot of money from Sharon Carter. Sharon yes, Carter. Sharon Carter. Yeah, so makes sense. So of course she just kills him dead on the spot. Badass, ruthless, love it. Um, but yeah, well anyway, I have one final thing for, for you, watching. sir. Oh. <laughs> for you. Have you watched for me? the Shang-Chi trailer? 
Oh, I have, yeah. Yes, Chang Tree and the Legend of Ten um, Rings. What do ten you think rings, of bro. that? Yeah. Bro, Ten Rings, Ten New Infinity Stones, but I'm saying. Yeah, pretty much. Not actually, they're not actually rings, they're bracelets, maybe. Yeah. They're alien rings, right? Yeah. Very, very Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Feels very, feels very Agents yeah, of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, true, actually, yeah. Because I, I do like the idea that I think for the majority of this film, he's not going to have superpowers. He's, he's just a martial arts badass. That's it. And is he going to get the rings? And use them to fight people, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I'm glad that we don't know a lot about this film because I, I know virtually nothing about it, and I'm, of course, I'm still hyped for it. I'm still going to go watch it on, you know, probably release day. Oh, uh, I know, but, I know, I know some things, but I'll, I'll spare the details. No, but I'm, 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 I'm in for it, man. Like, mm. uh, it's, it's all good to me. It's, uh, it looks, it looks like it's going to be better than Captain Marvel. Yes, agreed. And uh, that's a good benchmark. That's a good like. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Captain Marvel is kind of, for me, mentally a benchmark. Yeah. Um, I think we can both agree that Captain Marvel is probably one of the weaker, if not weakest, entries in the series. I think it's very close to Thor the Dark World, if I'm honest with you. Um, yeah. yeah. Thor, Thor, I have such a hard time remembering that film because it's like so many yeah. characters that are like very impactful, but I just don't, you don't remember them. I don't know why. It's like... It's yeah. just like, I don't care when I'm watching it. It's not I mean? a good film, so you know I wouldn't no, blame you for not remembering much about it. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly, with um, with the likes of of Captain Marvel, I think obviously what that film was going for is it was the kind of like you know, girl power feminism type vibe. And I still to this day think that having it be such a massive focus is not the way to do it. Having it be the level of focus that it was in Falcon and Winter Soldier, and even in Wonder Vision to an extent, is a much better way of doing it. And um, yeah, I'm glad Captain that they Marvel the the concept of Captain Marvel would maybe have worked better as a show. Yeah, maybe. yeah, it's not a bad idea actually. If, if we're gonna, if we're gonna consider this all this the, the fact that this is now possible, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, uh, I'm also thinking uh, this is a theory that I something I really want to see. You know how this ended the series and they said Captain instead of saying the Falcon and the Winter Soldier because they said it every time, right? Yes. It said Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, bro, I just want a season two of the show and then they work towards Bucky becoming the White Wolf. Do you, you know not know? Do you it? not know? No. Captain America 4 what? is being developed. This news got released Ooh. yesterday because the f- series well, finished. Who is the... Oh. It's Captain America Mara, 4 what, with, the fa- with, with, you know, the Falcon... Falcon. America. I, will I, I don't be... know what to call him. <laughs> but the, no, 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 I understand. Yeah. No, the, the Black Falcon is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> As Captain Black America. Cap. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, it's, I think that's a wonderful way of doing it. Again, because you've gone from TV series, setting up loads of oh. that information, into a film again. It's very similar with WandaVision. You had the TV series into Multiverse of Madness. Now you've got Falcon and Winter Soldier into Captain America 4. I think it's wonderful. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah that is wonderful. <laughs> and it's, it's, not like the, it's not like the show doesn't... It, it sets its own shit up, Sagmar. It's its own whatever. It works uh, as its own thing. Yeah. It's very good, man, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Very fucking good. Yeah, i got to agree. I had a good time. I'm just hyped for Loki now. I'm so hyped for that show. Bro, I'm always like, whenever I talk to you, you're already like, so ready for the next thing. I, I, I'm, I'm too slow. My brain process. I need to like process it and think about this like a million times. I'm going to I'm not gonna write songs about this and stuff. I'm probably going to just but watch I'll watch it again Loki today, with you, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you should. Good. The last episode. And I, we'll watch Loki together. And I hope to see you again next time. Because we should wrap it up. Because you're right. This is the longest podcast I've done. I was Absolutely. very comfortable talking to you. Of it's course. a good time always. It's a pleasure. It's been good as always. And yes. I will say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Are you watching. doing outro now? Fuck. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>